we taking a picture or what are we doing? Um, we're good. We're good? We're going to do a quick picture first, and then we'll go live. I guess I'm a big dude, man. I don't know y'all. You're behind me. If you're behind me, I'll pay out. Come around. I'm usually in the back. It's okay. It's okay. You go further down. This way? Yeah, this way. And you go that way? Yes. Yes, yes. Perfect, I can see. Now I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Excellent time. Three, two, one. Wait, look at the camera, bro. I know you're taking a lot of pictures. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Give me five. All right, we're ready to go. All right, well, thank you for uh, showing up today, and also thank God for this beautiful day and this beautiful break in the weather, because uh, this wouldn't have been possible under ordinary circumstances. But good morning, and thank you all for joining me. And my name is Alfred Liggins, and I'm the CEO of Urban One Incorporated. I'm thoroughly excited to share with you a vision that my colleagues and I at Urban One have that will lift the Richmond community, transform 100 acres of the property behind me, pump $517 million, yes, that's half a billion dollars, into the local economy, provide hundreds of well-paying jobs that offer a living wage or better, and deliver millions of dollars in tax revenues that can help schools, roads, parks, public safety, and community programs. And something that I'm particularly proud of, we will be creating the only black-owned casino in the United States of America. And perhaps more importantly, and this is yeah, my favorite part, um, our project will be very inclusive and diverse. I'm proud to stand here today knowing that I represent more than 50 individuals from our region and within our network, including community, business, and civic leaders who have joined with the likes of our friends at Virginia Union University, the Black History Museum and Cultural Center of Virginia. These decades-long relationships bring a uniqueness to our plan in that all the people we have met along the way they have helped us to engage and inform the strategy and our proposal today. Our project will be a resort-oriented destination that will bring thousands and thousands of visitors to this great city. We submitted our proposal to the city of Richmond yesterday, and we know there are others that have also presented ideas. There is a well-defined process that is going to take place to determine the path forward, and we stand ready to work with the city in that process. Let me be clear. We are convinced our proposal is unparalleled and cannot be matched. This morning, I would like to share some of the project highlights with you. The project is called One, and it consists of the following. A first-rate luxury hotel with 150 rooms to start, a 3,000-person capacity theater with 200 live shows per year, including music of all genres through a partnership with Live Nation. Radio and television production studios, including a 15,000 square foot sound stage on site. The will also bring a $50 million film and TV production commitment from Urban One to the city of Richmond. Leveraging Urban One's network of television, radio, and digital properties, we will be advertising, promoting, and inviting people from all across America to come visit Richmond, Virginia. We will be a magnet for tourism. We also have a lush 20-acre green space to include community gardens, miles of bike and hiking trails, a one-acre festival lawn with a dedicated space for food trucks, a playground for all ages and abilities, and dog parks. That's for you. Playground. <laughs> We'll have 90,000 square feet of gaming facility. We are partnering with Peninsula Pacific Entertainment to operate our casino. 
which will be called One Casino and Resort. They have extensive experience in gaming across the country. They also know Virginia and Richmond because they own and operate Colonial Downs Racetrack and Rosie's Gaming Emporiums in the state. There'll be 12 bars and restaurants featuring partnerships with local Richmond restaurant owners. Some of Richmond's most renowned restaurateurs will cook up the taste of Richmond along with local craft brews, Virginia wines, and Virginia distilled spirits. Visitors will enjoy Mama J's, Perch Southern Kitchen, Stella's, Eat Restaurant Partners, and restaurant, Richmond Restaurant Group offerings. There'll be 20,000 square feet of event space. We will also have a huge commitment to community. One will infuse $30 million in charitable contributions, programs, and initiatives into the Richmond community with a focus on education, workforce development, and affordable housing. Urban One is not new to Richmond. Although you probably know us by different names, Urban One, together with its subsidiaries, is the largest diversified media company that primarily targets black Americans and urban consumers in the United States. We own TV One, a television network serving more than 59 million households, offering a broad range of original programming. And we own and operate over 68 broadcast radio and two TV stations. In Richmond, you recognize us as Power 92.1 FM, Praise 104.7 FM, KISS 105.7 FM, ESPN Richmond, and through our partnership with Summit Media, we will access New Country K95, Classic Rock 96.5, 103.7 Play, 100.9 Jack FM, G104.3 FM, Sports 106 FM, to offer the one experience to all of Richmond. While Urban One will be the majority investor in One, we have lined up a diverse group of local investors, that some of which are here with me today, and supporters and partners. We are building a big tent that will be Richmond inclusive, and I am talking about all of Richmond. We want to provide wealth building opportunities that reflect the entire community. We will be sharing more down the road, but I would like to recognize several who are here with us here today. First, let me thank our hosts, Altria Philip Morris, and we are glad that they are represented here today. I must also thank Ms. Clovia Lawrence, better known as Community Clo from our Richmond Radio America as well. Johnny Newman, Richmond's basketball and business legend, is with us. Mark Horrigan with Horrigan Development and Construction is here with us. As well as Devon Henry from Team Henry Construction. And also a number of our partners at Peninsula Pacific who've worked so hard to help us make this vision come true. The one project will be a beacon that makes Richmond proud. It will also be an economic engine, a job creator, and a tax generator. We estimate that when up and running, one will create more than 1,400 direct jobs and generate more than $47 million in annual tax revenues. This is, that's something to clap for. This money will be available for critically important Richmond projects and initiatives, including schools and affordable housing. And we will achieve these numbers with a workforce that looks like Richmond. We are committed to a 50% workforce diversity goal, a 40% construction workforce diversity goal, and a 40% small, women-owned, and minority-owned business SWAM goal, of which half will be Minority Business Enterprise MBE designated. We also, yep, just got for that one too. We also have the very best site for a Richmond Casino, which you are standing in right now. Located in an industrial area and right along Interstate 95, where everyone traveling from Maine to Florida and back can see us and want to stop and visit. And as you can tell, we also have sufficient land to expand our project as visitation grows. 
this is a massive undertaking, and there is so much to show you, share with you, and talk about. To make it easy, and because we also want to start a conversation with what we are planning with the broader community, this morning we launched a website where you can find renderings, some great videos, and more details about what we are proposing. The website is onecasinoresort.com, and we encourage all of you to visit it. In particular, I highly recommend you watch the two videos that beautifully display our vision for the project and share more about who we are at Urban One. On the website, we will provide an opportunity for community comments and feedback. We will also conduct community events and more opportunities for feedback in the coming weeks and months. My mother, Kathy Hughes, founded Urban One more than 40 years ago when she first purchased her radio station, WOL, in Washington, D.C. Together, we have helped grow the company to what it is today. We have been part of the Richmond community since 1999. Hard to believe that's over three decades. <laughs> and everything we are proposing for this project will have a local flavor and will ensure our facility uplifts the entire Richmond community. Our objective this morning is to give you a taste of what we are proposing. And one of the best known places to get a real taste of Richmond is Mama J's Restaurant. And we are thrilled that they are part of this project. And here with us this morning is Lester Johnson with Mama J's. Lester? Thanks, Alfred. I appreciate that. Uh, I want to say good morning to everybody. Uh, I tell you what I'm happy about. I'm, I'm happy that we didn't kind of got through some of that cold weather. It's still a little <laughs> chilly, but it ain't nowhere near as chilly as it's been the past week. Uh, as Alfred said, my name is Lester Johnson uh, Jr. Uh, this here is my personal assistant and resident mini me, uh, Lena Johnson. Uh, I'm the owner. Of <laughs> Uh, I'm the owner of Mama J's, a small little family restaurant lo located in the heart of Jackson Ward, uh, which I started with my mom, uh, Velma Johnson, in 2009. Um, before I go into my remarks, uh, I actually want to do a little something that I, you know, I, I don't think Alfred and his mom, you know, he, he touched on, on what they did, but we really have to acknowledge what Alfred and his mom, Ms. Kathy Hughes, has done with Urban One. Um, <laughs> and how important they are to the history of our community. Uh, Ms. Hughes is a pioneer and represents everything that we tell our kids they can aspire to be. She is a shining example of what can be accomplished against all odds, and we forever will be grateful for her being a role model of success, not only for my generation, but for my daughter's generation and every single generation to come after us. Uh, Alfred and I talked about our love for our moms the other day. Uh, we also joked about the similarities of having a strong black woman as a mom, some good and not so good, <laughs> especially, especially when you charge with managing their business and their legacy. Um, but we love them all the same with all our hearts. So um, the story of my mom, Velma, Mama J. Johnson, began here in the West End uh, of the city 73 years ago as a one of 14 kids. And I always, you know, because I grew up here in Richmond, sometimes when I talk to people that are not from here, when we talk about West End, people think automatically show punk. For people that's been here for 40, 50 years, people understand that West End is Maymont, it is the fan. Again, there was no show punk. That was just cow pastures when we were growing up. So, um, so again, like I said, grew up here in the West End, um, basically lived all my life here. Um, I've seen the, the positives and the negatives of Richmond. And so, again, like I said, born and, not born here. I was actually talking to my man back here that I was born in Baltimore, but we moved here when I was three months. So again, I claim Richmond. Um, as part of a family that large, there was only two times a year that everyone would gather uh, as one big family. And that was my, at my grandma's house during Thanksgiving and Christmas. That was something that was, you know, we marked on our calendar because we showed up and, you know, whether my cousins from out of town, my aunts, my uncles, all of us would converge on my grandma's house uh, on those two times a year. My uncles would be in there watching TV, my, my, my aunts and, and, my, um, and even my uncles, because my uncles are great cooks too, 
We'll be laying this huge spread out. As soon as you walk through the door, you can smell fresh baked rolls. Um, the table was laid out with desserts and turkeys and hams. And it just was something for us as a family there where we were able to come together and just kind of commune and spend time together and that we didn't normally get a chance to spend with each other. When we created Mama J's, we created Mama J's in the hopes that we could recreate that environment, not only for ourselves, but for other people. People that, you know, again, you know, with my grandma and my grandfather pa passing, other people that basically had situations where their, their families fractured and they went off and, you know, did things separately. Because when you have that patriarch or that matriarch, that kind of holds things together. So again, for us, that's what we were trying to create at Mama J's. A place where people felt at home because the space was familiar and inviting and it gave them the same feeling of being at home. A place you could call your own because it was by you and for you. At the end of the day, I wanted to leave a legacy for my family and for my community. Something that represented the best of what we had to offer. Some place everyone in Richmond and the surrounding area could call home and be proud of. Our success is rooted in the fact that my staff brought into that same dream. A business model that used great food and service to make each and every customer that has ever walked through that door feel like family. I am convinced that Alfred and the One Project also represents a legacy for our community. Bringing an unmatched level of inclusiveness, opportunity, pride, and city to the, uh, to the city that we love. So much so that we are not only planning on placing a Mama J's inside, but also contributing to the success through financial investment. I honestly never dreamed when we started Mama, G Mama J's 11 years ago that an opportunity like this would ever be afforded to me and my family. And for that, Alfred, I'm greatly appreciative. Um, with that said, my team and I are very excited to be a part of this project. Literally before the ground floor even exists, we are extremely impressed with Alfred and his team at Urban One and the impressive, impressive list of other partners and investors he is bringing to this project. This is a worthwhile endeavor because it will bring excitement, hope, tax dollars for important city of Richmond priorities, a beautiful and fun destination that showcases the best of Richmond, and equally important will highlight uh, for the rest of the Virginia, the East Coast, and the country what we can accomplish in Richmond. I encourage city leaders to select this project, city voters to endorse it, and all of you to join in us watching it take shape and become a reality and legacy for our community. Before I go, I want to bring to everyone's attention uh, that we will be celebrating and supporting all of the black-owned restaurants in the area for the week starting on March 7th during the Richmond Black Restaurant Experience. Yeah. <laughs> Shane from Southern Kitchen is here, so again, she's that, you know, so. <laughs> uh, in addition to supporting these restaurants during the week, please support as many restaurants as you possibly can. The toll that COVID-19 has had on the hospitality industry this past year has been significant, and every little bit helps. Again, I want to thank Alfred, his mom, uh, Urban One, again, for, for not only the vision for this project, but again, like I said, when we talk about what Ms. Kathy Hughes has done, uh, again, it's, it's, it's unmatched, it's unparalleled, um, it's unquestioned. Uh, and I'm truly honored that you asked me to be a part of this project and I look forward to a long and amazing partnership. Uh, thanks, Lester, for those kind words. And really, for me, the, um, the Big Tent is what this project has always been about. When I uh, started my quest you know, for African American and minority inclusion in the, uh, the state's casino licensing process, that's what I, um, you know, that's what I pitched to the legislators that I talked to. It just was going in a drastically different way, and uh, and I'm happy that we have been able to present something that represents that very real and much needed idea. Yeah, you know, the one project is bold, it's unique, it's diverse, it's unprecedented, and that sounds just like Richmond to me. Bold, unique, diverse, and unprecedented. We think. So, and we're looking forward to building a broad coalition of support for the one project. I want to remind you that we have a terrific website set up and running now where you can find lots of great content to tell your stories. You can also find a 
full list of our minority investors that are in um, uh, included in our deal as, uh, as as partners. The web address, in case you didn't catch it earlier, is onecasinoresort.com. Again, I want to thank you for coming, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have at this point in time. Yes, sir. It'll be a purchase. Yeah. You mentioned, uh, I think, 300 million charitable donations? No, 30 million. 30 million. Yeah. Um, where exactly would that be donated? Yeah, we've um, it's, it's it hasn't all been decided yet, but we've actually made you know, um, uh, hard commitments to a number of community organizations. Virginia Union, um, I mentioned the the Black History Museum, yeah, a number of other um, uh, educational housing organizations. Um, very detailed community benefits uh, uh, plan uh, that we've actually been in in action on for you know, multiple months making happen. So um, I think that I'm, I'm really proud of the team for being so far along and so thoughtful in how we would distribute you know, that $30 million across you know, you know, notable and, 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 and need for organizations and, and, and causes. You mentioned Ease and Stella's first level of the restaurants. Have you gotten letters of intent for Yes, we've um, engaged with um, uh, the restaurant uh, tour partners that we you know, mentioned to you about being part of our project. Um, they're supportive, uh, supportive. Some of them, uh, like Lester, are investors in the project as, as well. So that's another very thoughtful, detailed uh, uh, characteristic of our proposal. We want it to be very Richmond and, 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 and inclusive. And again, that includes that, that includes all Richmond and, and its culinary uh, uh, you know, in, entities that you know should be a part of you know this great project. So yes, we have. Yes, sir. This. Do you think the, uh, the tremendous kind of local buy you have already set you up better than some of the uh, other proposals out there? Do you think the, uh, the having the local buy in here with the folks behind you, do you think that will help propel this uh, proposal forward over the other ones? I, I mean, I, he I, I hope so. When I, you know, you know again, my, uh, my representation to, you know, people when I you know started this process was you know these opportunities these licenses whether they're in Virginia or Pennsylvania or Maryland where we're actually an investor yet you know, they're they're licenses to actually they're, they're resources of of the community the people that are going to patronize um, these venues are are, are are consumers and citizens and, 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 and taxpayers and they absolutely should have a right to participate in the upside of that and not just just be customers and that's you know that was always my position and you know that's the essence you know of our project and again and that doesn't you know when 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 you dig into it our projects diverse too it's not just african-american um, participation even though that's largely you know uh, the community populace um, but yeah I believe that with you know um, with all my heart and you know and I and I think that people who are legislators whatever state that they're in should believe that as well Is that, is that the helicopter coming to pick me up? <laughs> Evidently, a helicopter's coming to get me. <laughs> what are you going to do about my car? <laughs> All right, I've got time for one last question, so I'm told. Yes, sir. I understand y'all invested in the MGM project. Yeah. Yeah, you know, um, uh, we um, uh, are very um, uh, good partners, and close to the MGM folks. Um, uh, they're fully aware of my activities um, uh, down here. They, um, as a company, they're focused on um, their eye gaming and sports betting initiatives and uh, and and Japan. And, and quite frankly, I think a lot of the traditional operators in Vegas are kind of digging out from the from the pandemic. So um, they um, they were very familiar with the the P2E management team, and you know gave me a, a, a blessing and a good recommendation that they were you know fine 
you know, people and fine operators. And so, you know, we moved forward in, in, in partnership and I did so with, uh, you know, with a, um, a good feeling about where I was going. All right, thank you.